Hey guys, it's your math tutor. Today we're reviewing the app SciMath. I'm a huge fan of math solvers in general. Photomath is probably my favorite so far, but I've heard a lot of great things about SciMath. For today, the top three criteria I'm looking for is number one, how easy is it to use? Number two, does it recognize and solve the problems I'm looking at? And number three, probably the most important one, does it show me the steps to get to the answer? These math solver apps are really helpful when you're doing homework and studying for tests. So the ideal solver for me lets me scan the problem, quickly recognizes it and shows me the answer with the steps so that I can understand and learn how to do these problems in the future. Doing a little background research on SciMath, it looks like a moderately popular app with about 10,000 reviews on Google Play and Apple Store, which is modest compared to more popular apps like MathWay and PhotoMath, which have hundreds of thousands of reviews. But it has pretty good ratings between 4.4 and 4.7 on both of the app stores, so let's give it a try. When you first open up SciMath, it brings you right to the solver. You can either type in your problem or take a picture, I personally hate typing in questions. I think it takes too long, so I'm going to use the camera option. I have a bunch of problems lined up from Algebra 1 all the way up to Calculus, so no matter what class you're taking, let's see what type of problems it can solve. I first tried an Algebra 1 linear equation problem where you're trying to solve for x, and something I noticed right away was that I had a hard time getting it to focus and scan the problem I wanted. I mean, the camera worked, but you're supposed to reshape this box to highlight the problem you're looking at, but I couldn't get the box skinny enough just to scan this one problem. It kept picking up the problem above it and below it, so I ended up having to zoom in on the PDF just so the problem would take up the whole box. I'm just wondering what would have happened if I had a physical textbook and I can't zoom in on a paper textbook. When it finally did pick up the problem, SciMath solved it super quickly, and I really, really liked the level of detail it gave in the solution. So sometimes in other apps, it can look messy between the equations and the explanations, but I think the UI here looks really clean and color-coded, and it explained how I can check my answer, which is something I've never seen in another app before, so bonus points for that. I also tried different problems for geometry, trig, and pre-calc, but it wasn't able to pick up a lot of the problems with diagrams or special notation, so pretty much anything that wasn't a straight-up equation, it couldn't pick up. I know a lot of other apps have trouble with geometry, so I'll give SciMath a pass on that, but it couldn't pick up trig identities or matrices either, which I know other apps do pick up on. So that was a little disappointing, but it did redeem itself a little bit when I tried out Algebra 2 and Calculus Problems. So again, after we got over picking up the right problem, I got SciMath to factor an expression, which it did really well on and explained how to factor it. I also got it to calculate derivatives and also some indefinite integrals for calc. In general, I found that the scanner sometimes wasn't accurate. For example, in this problem, it completely missed the E in the integral. And then for that same integral, when I got it to recognize the E, it said it didn't know how to solve it. I tried some other ones where it did recognize the problem and was able to solve it again, and for those, the explanations were really clear and, best of all, free. Alright, so what did we learn? When it came to the first criteria, how easy was it to use, I would give SciMath a B+. The UI and the app itself is really user-friendly and intuitive in terms of what you can do and how to use it. I docked some points because I had some trouble using the camera feature where it kept scanning the problems around it, but in general, it's a really nicely designed app and easy to use. For the second criteria, its ability to recognize and solve the problems, I would give it a C. It kind of ties into the first criteria where it was really hard to pick up the actual problem, but it also sometimes misread the problems. In addition to that, it doesn't do well with different types of problems, like trig identity problems, matrices, integrals. It started having lots of issues when I tried out problems besides the more straightforward algebra ones. 
but I have to give credit where it's due for the ones SciMath did recognize, especially the ones in Algebra 1 and 2, the problems and answers were so clear and you didn't have to pay for a premium product. Which brings us to the third and final criteria, which is how and if it shows the steps to get there. This one, I have to give it an A because of how clear the steps are when it does recognize the problems. It's really only useful for Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 equations, and only some of the higher level problems. I don't think it's diverse in the types of problem it recognizes, but when it does, the explanations are fantastic. Probably some of the best ones out there in terms of clarity. So overall, I would recommend this app to anybody who's in Algebra 1 or 2. It seems to pick up equations really well, but once you hit geometry and trig and above, it's a hit or miss whether it'll recognize the problem or if it'll give you the right solution. So if you are in those other classes, you might want to try out other apps like Photomath or Mathway. All right, thanks everyone for watching this video on SciMath. Please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. I do other math reviews, study tips, and also tutorials on my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.